Hi, I'm Richard Randall, and welcome to Your Real Estate Voice with Barb Schlinker, the owner of Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty. This is the weekly radio show that informs and educates you on how to buy or sell real estate here in Colorado with Colorado's real estate authority, that is Barb Schlinker. Barb Schlinker is a retired Navy veteran. Barb is an author. Barb Schlinker is a pilot, and she and her team enjoy all that the Front Range has to offer. Barb, always Always great to be talking with you now we air your real estate voice the show every saturday and if you can't listen to the entire show it's always available on barb's site barbhasthebuyers.com or search barb and most popular podcast platforms will help you out iHeartRadio, for instance every week your real estate voice covers great information about people's primary assets and that is the home what are we going to be talking about today barb well, Richard, I'm kind of excited about these topics today because um, it, it stems from a lot of questions that the consumers are asking about if they have to sell their largest asset. So the first one is going to be about what do home sellers want from their real estate agents? And um, I actually got a lot of this research done using chat GBT and doing a, a little bit of artificial intelligence. And I, when I read it, I was like, wow, this is surprisingly accurate. So it's kind of fun. I'm excited about talking about that. And then we're going to cover the top 12 steps of selling your house fast and for top dollar. People don't do this every day. And so it's good to have a reminder of the flow. And even if I explain it to them when we first meet, it's not it's not enough because they're busy, their lives are busy and they may not remember what happens next. And then the third topic is about pricing your, your home correctly so it doesn't sit on the market for months and months and, and grow kind of stale and get buyers uninterested in, in it. And then, <clears throat> let me say that again. The third topic is about pricing the home right. So it doesn't get stale, so it doesn't sit on the market, and then it kind of loses its demand for buyers. And then the last topic is what do you do if you want to buy a home, but you have a house to sell? We actually have some great options I'm going to share with you, as well as our hot new listings. Richard? Barb, now we know that most people don't sell homes very often, but what is it that home sellers want out of their real estate agent when they are selling a home? Well, Richard, unlike a year ago, it's, it's a challenge for home sellers to get their homes sold. And the reason is the Fed just stepped on the gas and raised the interest rates faster than they ever have in our history, which created all kinds of buyer demand destruction. Why was that? Because as the, as the interest rates went up, so did the house payments. That meant buyers could no longer afford the house payments, so they quit buying as many homes. The demand for homes is still there. We still have a, a large population looking for homes. We still have low inventory, but that rise in interest rates put the big kibosh on our real estate market. Um, it was probably hurt the most, I would say, last fall, and now um, it's getting a little bit better because <laughs> there's some other issues going on with the economy. And so everybody's predicting that the Fed will stop increasing rates, which gives us somewhat of a glimmer of hope going forward. And we're going into the selling season right now. Um, anytime from April all the way through September, October, that's kind of prime time. Um, so the good news is that housing values went up last month. The inventory is still kind of flat like it was the previous month. But what we're finding is that buyers are making fewer offers, and I think it's because of their uncertainty. And also, if they're making offers, they're making low offers, which that has to do with the influence of the real estate agents, in my view. So let's talk about the top eight services that sellers want from their real estate agents. Um, number one is what their homes are worth. If you take a look at those online automated valuations. Either you can go to Zillow or realtor.com has three of them on there you can compare your home with. And um, sometimes they're right, but I would say most of the time they're not. In fact, when you look at realtor.com and you look at the range between those three home values, 
it's a lot of money. It's like $100,000. So who is right? Um, I just met with a seller yesterday that was telling me that they knew that the market was shifting back before the meltdown. They wanted to get their home sold during the prime time in the summer in another state. And they hired this agent that was kind of a legend in her own brain. And she's like, oh, no, you need to price it here. It's worth that much. Well, it didn't work. It didn't sell. Went all the way through the cold winter without selling. They finally had to let her go. And that was all because they believed what the agent told them. But really, it is the seller's decision. The number two service that sellers want from their real estate agents is to know what improvements they should make when they get their home ready for sale. In other words, what to do and what not to do to get their house ready. This is what we do. And not all home improvements actually make a difference. As an example, some people tell me, well, I spent $10,000 on my tankless water heater. Doesn't that add value? I'm like, sorry, no, it's good that it's there, but it just doesn't motivate them. Same with things like solar panels, which you would think that it adds value, but I'm not seeing it in terms of what the buyers are willing to pay. Um, you want to make sure your systems are functional and there's no problems with them, of course, but it's really all about the buyer falling in love with the home. Um, and that means cosmetic appearances. Uh, buyers fall in love with homes based on how they visualize themselves living there and whether or not it will improve their lifestyle. So if you make the home move in ready, Make it look like there's no deferred maintenance that you don't you don't have to worry about. Um, you have a better chance of command, commanding top dollar when you sell your home. And what you need to focus on are curb appeal, living room, kitchens, baths, and of course, flooring. Um, flooring's a big deal because it's it's a lot harder. And it, Richard, think about this. Let's say you bought a house and you loved everything except for the carpet was worn, it was done. Uh, how hard would it be for you to have to replace that carpet before you moved in? Not all that hard. I mean, I wouldn't think, right? Well, it's expensive for one thing. There it you does, are though. Yeah. It does mean that you delay your move-in. So a lot of people are timing that's right down to the minute. Not, not too many buyers have the fluffy time range when they're looking to move, especially if they're giving up apartments or where, wherever else they were staying. So um, a lot of buyers don't want to deal with flooring. And I've had many sellers ask me, well, can't they just accept a, an allowance? And I'm like, no, well, first of all, the lenders, their lender won't let you do it. And second of all, um, uh, buyers look at that in terms of the cash that they have to come up with. And typically their offer on your home will be anywhere from three to, to five or 10 times the cost of replacing that carpet, just because they're the ones that have to come up with the cash, not you. Um, and let's talk a little bit about the other issues. So when, um, when somebody is selling their home, you've got some problems that you have to deal with. One of them is that the buyer is looking at your home, making a decision. The other is the agents are there with them and the agents want them to feel like they're working for them, even though they may have never met them before. Oh yeah, I'm going to be your advocate. I'm going to tell you, oh, watch out, Mr. Buyer, beware of this. This is a problem. And they do it all under the guise of what we call a fiduciary. So I call these the enemy within. These are agents that are in what I call the sales prevention business. Rather than handling the objection and dealing with the objection and saying, well, other than that, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, you know, could you see yourself living here? Would you like to explore it further? They don't have those selling skills. What they actually do is convince them, yeah, this house is bad. Let's go. And that is why 81% of agents sell three or less homes a year. It's, it's pretty pathetic. That is amazing. That is amazing, Barb. I would not want one of those people representing me. Simple as that. Yeah. And you know, I, I recently asked an agent, she was telling me about how much she showed my listing, her buyers loved it, but it needs some work. It needs siding and the deck needs work, which is not really true. It's, it's that cedar siding, which always looks tough in, in this climate. 
Um, maybe the siding needs a little work, but the deck is fine. It just had this very expensive coating put on it. But, you know, she's calling me, trying to get me to suggest that I ask the seller to lower the price. And she's got a seller ready, willing, and able to buy the home. And so I, I said, why don't you just ask your buyer to make an offer? And the answer was, oh, well, uh, okay, I'll ask. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I, and that's what we see out there. Um, but basically, sellers really want to get advice on the appearance, on how to prepare their homes for sale and all that. So my name is Barb Schlinker. I'm with Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty Colorado. I'm the host of Your Real Estate Voice. And we're talking about what home sellers want from their agents. And we're going to go further in this segment. We'll talk more about marketing, negotiation, and closing those parts of the home selling process that sellers most want and need. And if you are thinking of moving in the next three to six months and you'd like to get that kind of advice, give us a call at 719-301-3900 or go to barbhasthebuyers.com. Richard? You're listening to Your Real Estate Voice. It's the show that Barb Schlinker of Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty brings to you every week. And you're listening, but you can get in touch with Barb by just calling her 719-301-3900. She's very accessible. Up and down the front range, the number again, 719-301-3900. Or just visit barbhasthebuyers.com. Simple as that, barbhasthebuyers.com. Dot com. We'll take a short break. When we come back, we'll be talking about the top 12 steps to selling your house fast and more importantly, for top dollar. Stay tuned. You don't want to miss that. 